Shalom, everyone. I hope that you're doing fantastic. Thanks for joining for another just general reading. I'm just trying to pass the time. So if these uh, uh, videos are helping you in any way, shape, or form, then that's what I'm here uh to do. I'm called to do a prophecy on this channel by way of Jehovah, my Elohim, who is also the ruler of everything. And if you call out to him, he's mighty. And if you haven't already clicked off, stick around and see who the great king of glory is. All right. So I'm not sure at the time I'm actually speaking what element signs that we are going to be taking a look at. Um, I'll get over to the table and the divine will call that out. But the title here should uh, have uh, caused you to click up on this uh, channel for the reading. So anyway, I've done quite a few uh, videos already, so just uh, bear with me. But like I said, uh, many of you all know that I live by myself, and uh, if, if this stuff helps and to pass the time, it's just uh, let the divine speak, okay? Because uh, we are really seeing a mighty thing take place in the earth, and he's cleaning the land, and that's positive. Uh, that the wicked either repent or get out, okay? So uh, anyway, if you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. And those of you who are returning, welcome back. Let's go ahead and get started. Thank you, precious, precious Jehovah, who is our Yeshua, our salvation, who sees everything, everything that's been hidden comes to the light. <laughs> You're just so amazing to me, and I appreciate you here on this channel. For any given person who has clicked up on this channel, give them courage and hope today to break free in such a powerful way those things that have tried to hold them down from negative forces and energies. I thank you, Jehovah, at your rebuke. You rebuke every dark entity, familiar spirit, witchcraft, wizardry, anything of the such, any mantra, negative energies in any way, shape, or form. Jehovah rebuke you, command you to go to the pit. You will stay there for eternity. I thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. What two elements would you like to bring out here, please, Yeshua? You are our salvation. We worship you, Jehovah. What do you want to bring out here? I'm doing a spread here on these readings. So we have fire. Boy, we start getting fire energy. So we did fire and earth and then fire and air. And they were really corresponding with one another. So fire is really coming out here with the Queen of Wands. This is a, a mother, a boss, a sister, and anything feminine. But it's very masculine at the same time. It's very spiritual energy. It also is um, one of the meanings of this uh, Queen of Wands can be the other person. Didn't have to be, but in the negative, that'd be the other person. It's also very spiritual in the negative. That'd be uh, like witchcrafty stuff, okay, which is a divine, we just bound that at the same time, the divine's going to bring something out here, uh, I, if you are new, I hit energies both ways, okay, um, this is, uh, energies, of, this could be somebody very nice looking as well, fire, this, that's one of the meanings of the queen of wands, um, this is a big get up, take action, you could be dealing with somebody who is in the spotlight energy, we do see the sun, uh, the sunflower here for Leo is Aries Leo Sagittarius um, energy. This is somebody very inspirational. And if they're in the upright, um, they would hold the truth in their hand, okay, and smite with that thing. All right, so let's see what other. Um, somebody could um, be dealing with somebody who either owns a cat uh, or the or. Uh, or you have a cat. You don't have to, but there's a black cat here as well. And that'll go back to, if we want to look at it in the negative, that goes back to, you know, witchcraft stuff as well. So we just did fire and air. And so we are seeing, uh, we see the ten of uh, swords in that reading. Um, so we, we're, the divine's really going to speak something. Here, somebody's been up in their head in their bed for what they've done. Okay, and we've already done fire and earth, and it's coming out here. Uh, let's do fire and water because the eight here is uh, would be the eighth house. So let's do fire and water, divine. Give me a, okay, there's water right there. Thank you. And this is getting in unity. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy people. Uh, or anybody connected to that energy, okay? 
for some people there were group energies because we've seen the six of wands and that would go to some type of public promotion so for some that that energy is still here but we do have um the two of cups here that's getting in unity that's two people touching eye to eye and um polaric balance is showing itself here as well so let's go ahead and thank you sweet divine whatever you want to speak about Yeah, there's been a, a battle here. There's the Empress. And there's somebody in their head. And that card literally just uh, showed up in the air and fire reading. Obviously, we're looking at this energy, but uh, when the Empress energies come out, there are that's known energy then for some people. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands. We have a match. And with the Empress here, there's all obviously other people then for some people, okay? This is a counterpart. This is would be the lower version of the Emperor then. And then we know that she holds the Queen of Wands also within herself. Also would get up and take action. But there's been a war and other passionate energies around a situation that's been going on, okay? Also we have the Star here, and that's public things but something's guided there's a new relationship guided relationship healing destiny hope uh stuff like that okay it's also the pay in the hebrew which is the mouth which is speaking this would be air energy and we just did see the nine of swords as well and so so since we do know that there are other people involved in some things then we're going to hit it from all different directions here okay so the problem here is on one side is that somebody has really been burdened with passion and um oppression because of something that's taken place okay like i said fire get up in war and it's showing up here and if we're talking about the emperor he's just not a big bowl of fire and get up and fight for his baby doll okay uh all right and, and this also jail energy and things like that and we got the incarceration card on this side as well um so the problem has been this fight and needing to lay down the burden Okay, because this has been a big cycle going on, and it's just burning, 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 burning. Okay, uh, I'm also seeing blonde hair here. Three pictures, four pictures with blonde hair. I'm also seeing red hair and dark hair. I guess it really doesn't matter. I'm seeing an older person. I'm seeing grandparent energies out here. Um, other, other part, other woman type, other man type. Because the uh, King of Wands also has that uh, meaning as well. Um, I'm seeing death issues out here. Um, we had in one of the readings we had a snake in the in, in the in the grass that came out on one of my other cards and the tet is here which is the snake in the basket energy uh, we got children showing up here as well um, so the problem here is is this oppression and needing to heal and uh, whatever the pay and the mouth has been going off with somebody within this war and literally we were seeing that in the air and fire and air and fire and earth reading as well so they're all just corresponding because we're all in society here right and this stuff is happening it's spiritual war more than anything what you can do is be loving and kind and generous is also the gimel in the hebrew uh, which means to be uh, loving, caring, and generous. At the same time, it's also putting a judgment on something because the Empress represents um, the law. She's got the law within her. Uh, she also represents projects, and in one of those other readings, somebody was still somebody's work and projects, and they were caught, and it was known, and uh, so they are going to go to jail. What they can do here is get out of their head and face the fact they're going to go to jail. It's literally right here. <laughs> okay. We got judgment right here with the tet itself. Okay. Somebody been trying to catch somebody up on the net. And we got you know, this energy. And you can go back to that as well. Okay. Um, wow. That's incredible. What the vines bring out here. Your outside influence is this um, energy of needing confidence and strength. Okay, or it's obvious we got all kinds of fire out here. Aries little Sagittarius really coming out here goes strong here with you and water energy. Something's emotional here. Um, outside influences, children death or any kind of death issue. I'm saying that because the het is the, um, sorry, you have to use the back of your throat, uh, is the um, 
you go back to like death energies. It's uh, passing from one space to the next. It goes to new births and deaths and resurrection and all that kind of stuff. So it's all here. Um, it's also being protected uh, from outside things is what that het can represent. Somebody needs strength to open their mouth and speak. Uh, or to tell somebody else, shut your mouth. And this, this is, you know, what I'm doing. I'm complete because the Empress represents being complete. How to fix it? Well, it's to put a judgment on something. Heal something. Uh, this is a counselor. You know, get, get yourself a lawyer. Those of you who have stole some stuff because you're really going to go jump. Okay? Really showing up here. And um, how to fix it is to... Um, <laughs> It, it, to heal something that's happened also between two people as well because there's a match here okay there, there's been some real horrible things that have gone on some some people have uh, really gotten in between other people all right uh, that you know and you know talking about deaths and children dying and just craziness uh, baby mama wars and things like that uh, what what you can do to fix it is really go within and face the truth okay heal something we got the star itself showing out here something somebody's story is going to be known I'll just say that because it is it's already something is already huge going on all right show me this ten of wands for messages please Jehovah and I thank you for the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth you're so magnificent a uh, campsite well we got fire energy here is showing itself in some type of a war then possibly with a bunch of people at a campsite or something like that took off then something happened at a campsite or some, something in the summertime everyone be real general okay we also have uh, shocked also so somebody's real shocked at something that somebody said or did or because this is the pay right you gonna pay what you say Okay, somebody did something, they were drinking or something like that, something got out of hand, that's what's showing itself then. But this also goes back to, it could represent electricity as well, okay? Well, um, this energy does go back to technology and things like that. We do have somebody here by water as well, and we got fire, and so... Um, Somebody got shocked somehow if it was raining. We did have a bad storm energy coming out in one of those readings. And um, so somebody got shocked by lightning. I don't know why it's coming out, but there's electricity here as well. Maybe you work for the electric company. I don't know. Maybe you do electrical work. I don't know. Um, for the Empress energy, someone who is in the public eye, and she is, and uh, something at a concert, and that's also something public here and this is in uh what you can do to um what you can do in the situation is to be public with your with your with your problem with the war with the take somebody out to dinner or something get somebody out of their mind something there is something guided here okay we got two people seeing eye to eye in the war because it's already been one. Somebody else going to jail. And as soon as it's happened, then you can go to a concert and do something, whatever you want, and go slow with something here. Or heal your relationship or your family or with your children or whatever that is. What they can do, other than get out of their head or go to jail, <laughs> stop their lying, because the seven of swords coming for the eight of swords, is get out of this pride and conceit. Okay? Pride and conceit. On a rainy day, is showing up here okay it's gonna be real prideful okay blind tied up and um i guess it is what it is just let the divine speak hold on a minute i have one that fell on the floor your outside influence here with this having courage and the death energy and children uh, is to, it, to some people have courage to speak. It, it, the card came out, they're truthful. Somebody's truthful here about something. But somebody, out, the outside influence is causing somebody to really have to have courage to speak about something. Okay? And on a rainy day is still at the bottom here. Um... <laughs> Let me take another one. Show me another one for this strength card for the outside influence. Career opportunities and something's positive here. That's positive then. That's beautiful. Look, 
once you make something public and whatever second place of this war and whatever took place at the campsite and somebody got shocked or whatever the electricity or something that have to do with technology where you have to plug something in we can look at it that way uh, once you open your mouth there, there's a healing energy real big showing up here and a judgment being made so you can move on with your life okay um, show me the the hermit energy please says, uh, Jehovah hath brought me forth also into a large place and he delivered me because he delighted in me. Well, somebody literally, uh, how to fix the problem is deciding to go within. Then the divine is literally showing his delighting in that when you're putting a judgment on something from within to heal. So we got healing energy really showing up here. Okay. And on a rainy day, still wants to show up here. So something literally to do with rain. Okay. But there's been pride and conceit here as well. Let's take some outside um, other energies. I think you, you hope that you know all things. Somebody's been needing a friend and a truthful one because somebody's been a liar and caused oppression and brought a lot of shock to a situation. We have the P and the T, that's a pet, that's a pit, that's a pot, that's a top. A tip and a tap. And somebody needs to give a tip and uh, do the right thing and even out the scales. We have a gate and... Um, got somebody got something well we know that somebody was dealing with uh, somebody's uh, postal box as well in another reading and um anyway talk about government stuff then we're talking about legal stuff here this will go back to government stuff as well we have um, riches and things like that people get in their boxes and stuff like that we have um a gate did i already say that um a tag is here. Um, hit. Hat. Somebody wears different hats. And somebody's a liar. Okay? I know that from those of you who are connecting with those other uh, videos that we were just looking at. Somebody was a spitter and somebody was a liar and they were not respected and they were, what, they were known to be a known liar and uh, they just weren't respected at all. Anyway... And they were a king in what they did. So they're a habitual liar, really. Um, so we, anyway, we have the H, the T, the G, the P coming out here. And somebody's needing a friend because they really have done a number on some piece, somebody. We have the pure in heart shall see Elohim. Yes, you got to be pure in your heart. We also have a gutter here and a heavy drinker showing up here. Well, and we have a sickness. And that is a sickness. Somebody needs healing. There's somebody really in their pride and conceit in their mind, all they can do is lie and cheat and steal and, and bring shocking things. One of the things that came out in one of my readings today said that somebody just liked to, to just start crap. They just like it. They just, they, they just, that, that's just their, that they're habitual with it, people. You know, but what else needs to come out here with this energy? And look, you, you're going to be, um, the divine will delight in you when you are pure in your heart. Get out of the gutter. Get your mind out of the gutter. Okay, whatever that crap is, and go within and heal a thing, and he'll deliver you because he will he will delight in that. Get out of the snakeish crap. We're around people that are like that. Warn them and get away from them if they don't want to change, because they surely will die. The divine said. What else do you want to bring out here? We have you're widely known in a good way and respected. And that's what the Empress energy is. Okay? She would be respected. We're dealing with fallen beings in the earth. Fallen. Fallen stars. Okay? That have fell through the earth and have caused a ruckus. And they have no soul within. That they have hatred within. Okay? We, we had that energy come out the other day. Okay? So we're talking about electric and it's rainy energy. And the devil fell like lightning is what Christ said, right? There you go. What other messages do you want to bring out here, Jehovah? The devil knows his time's up, people. A lot of these people are heavy drinkers and there's nothing wrong with having a drink. 
okay? But if you're a drunkard and that's all you do all day long, all day long, all day long, I don't even care if you have a drink every night, but if you're a drunkard, a lot of these uh, entities, uh, they, they fill their self up on spirits. Okay, because some of those, uh, some alcohol can, can uh, uh, be related to spirits. And if you're not, if you don't have the Holy Spirit to seal you, and you don't take everything in moderation, uh, something's wrong with that. You're fallen. You sold your soul. You're in pride and conceit. You're, you're, you're lost. You're going down in the pit, in the hole, right? And you're going to sink really low. The tent is uh, sinking in the miry dirt and clay uh, energy. Oh, what I would give to turn back time. We well, can't do anything about that. Can't do anything about it. It's time to get up, move on. Lay the burden down and go for it. And some people have lost their children. And I send you love and light. I really do I mean that from my heart. Something so attractive here as well. Um, we have the this this came out in one of my readings, but I think I may have deleted that video. We have uh, for sure suffered but legal victory. We have Max and Wax and Wix, and that'll also take you back to the internet stuff as well. And we got the you know the Tet is trying to catch people up on the net as well. Um, we have um, weeks. As in like uh, like in a couple weeks or the weeks. I mean, that's come through my spirit this time. I've never done it before. Well, we have the Degas, and that means the day, the, uh, the day, the light, uh, a change, something like that. Uh, anyway, so we have an M and an X here, and we have wax here. We have people that also are in, um, you know, if they're fallen, they, these these entities, they got some kind of like a magical type of an energy type of thing going on. Okay, so we got the black cat down here. We also have the B coming out here, which is moon energy. It's the 18th letter. We have a bum. We have backs. We have a box. Okay, something could be hidden in a box. Uh, we have bikes. And I actually think the word, the bike came out in one of the how to fix something. Okay, somebody needs to get on their bike and go and travel forward or something like that. And I also got back to children as well. Uh, we have Bix. Um, we have a web. And that also go back to, oh, what a tangled web we weave. And that also go back to the internet energy. We have children and nutrition energy here. Uh, we have also maybe eyeglasses can uh, be really prevalent to you. Both of these look like glasses to me. Um, I put them up in there. I don't know if you can see. If I turn the B around the other way, it looks like glasses. Okay? The way somebody sees something or somebody wears glasses or needs glasses or just see a different way. This also can look like glasses if you look at it. You know, the, the here's the... Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I've done so many videos today. Let's take some names here. The nine of pentacles that the money and somebody is whole on the inside that the empress energy is a lower version of the empress and um that's somebody who's single as well and then back to inheritances and you're dealing with the uh, older people who have passed on as well and left inheritances i just did a video today and somebody took somebody's hair inheritance and they had it and they did it on purpose. Anyway, Nathan is out here. That I think that name's come out uh, three times now. Josh is here. We have Joel. And Joel goes back to um, prophecy energy. We are in prophecy. Uh, we have uh, Wade is here. Uh, Angie is here. Let me just take. We have Adam. Uh, Savannah. Samantha or Sam, Chuck, uh, Rihanna, Brianna or Brandon, Joanne or Joan, Brent, Sue, Kim, Jeremy, Melissa, uh, did I have Brant twice? Oh, Brent and Brant and Junior uh, and Ashley and Ruth and Stacy and Raymond, Tammy, Shane, Renee, 
I guess I got two Nathans out here. Okay, there may be more than one Nathan, then I'm just gonna leave it. If I have doubles in there, I got doubles in there for a reason. Then Hope, uh, Kaylee and Kylie, uh, Luke, Bob, Wayne, Terry, Bonnie, and Foster. Who else can I see here? We have the innocent here, or you can put your name there. Uh, we have Rodney and uh, the Brianna twice. Brian Energy is out here. All right, guys. Um, this will come out for y'all. And then any of these other letters that I called out. And if you want to, you know, put some more words for more messages, then by all means you should do that if the divine prompts you to do so. Um, those of you who are standing uh, in your faith and walking by faith and not looking around and leaning on the arm of the flesh, you're going to be able to put this burden down. The divine's going to deliver you when you go within. Something's guided here in a very big way. And uh, the, the, we're at the we're we're in the day where the wicked's being um, judged right now. There's judgment on the snake energy. The snakish people talk on both sides of their mouth and don't care about you and I. They're being big, fat, and pride, and they're they're really not people. People, they are uh, entities that are fallen in the earth. Okay, and until you stand up and realize that they don't have anything on you, they'll actually run from you because you and I have power over them. Uh, literally, they're gonna flee like you have never seen before. They know their time's up. It's something to throw them in the fire. They're going to be burned. And some people got um, uh, literally caught up in this uh, mess and they aren't um, fallen entities, but because they sold their soul and gave into their influence, they, they just like them then. They, they just went on that side, so they might as well just be the same. And they don't, they, they can't do anything to you. If, if you will connect with Jehovah, he will, he's your salvation. He said, all that will uh, call out on Jehovah, he said, or Yeshua, because Jehovah is Yeshua, he'll save you. Okay, that's all you got to do, and you just watch his mighty hand come in and help you. Don't, don't, don't fear these things. Get up and go to your family. Contact them today. You need to contact them today. Okay, text them, post them, call them. Okay, learn something. We got the school, and Jehovah has given me hope. Yes, let him give me hope. Those things don't have nothing on you. Um, Jehovah has blessed thee and keep thee. Yeah, Jehovah bless thee and keep thee. Okay, shalom.